and a little bit frustrated. <laughs> Today was water day for all the animals, the horses especially, and um, my hose is completely frozen. Um, this is one of the reasons why winter is freaking hard <laughs> on a homestead. It's something as simple as just getting your animals water um, for the winter time. So usually, obviously we use hoses. We don't have um, spigots yet around the property. That is one of my biggest <laughs> dreams and I know it seems totally silly and simple. But if we had spigots, this problem would be completely eliminated. So right now we are feeding all of our water from our house through hoses. And we have at least three or four hoses that are connected to get out to my horse pastures where the horses are right now. And um, we've been doing a pretty good job being able to use them, maintain them, but today is a totally different story. So we have like heated waters for all of our horses, which um, is a huge blessing. Um, I can't even imagine dealing with frozen waters on top of frozen hoses. Um, but horses can drink five to ten gallons every single day. And that is a lot of stinking water. Um, it slows down a bit in the winter time, but they always have to have fresh water. Like obviously they can't have a time that they don't have water and you can't just decide to be lazy one day and not get them water. So now I get to resort to um, using our lovely quad and putting five gallon buckets on the quad, filling them up in our mudroom and bringing them out to the horses. <laughs> this right here is not glamorous and um, it's incredibly frustrating. <laughs> and I, this winter going into it, I was trying to figure out a way that I could completely avoid this because this is one of the things that literally makes me cringe every single winter because it's just a lot of stinking work. And um, one way that I could look at it at is um, I'm getting a good workout in. <laughs> I get to lift five gallon buckets. But in reality, um, it takes about four to five five gallon buckets to fill one of our one water trough. So these right here, they don't look very big, but when you start like grabbing buckets and filling them, it adds up real fast. And I have three horses, so, you know, 15 five gallon buckets to get them completely full. Well, one thing that I um, was considering this winter is having a big um, water trough, kind of like um, my big horse feeders that you can see right here. Um, I was thinking about filling up one of those, hopefully on a warm day that I could get a hose going, fill it up all the way, put a trough heater in it, and then just have it right in front of my barn right here, and then I could just grab buckets, fill the five gallon buckets, and it's not too much of a distance from my barn right here over to all of the horse fields where the horses are kept this winter. Um, and right about now, I'm really wishing that I had that. And um, this might be my breaking point and I might just end up doing that. Um, but there is always like this trade off when you do something like that because you have the electricity bill and we're already paying to have all of our animals' um, waters heated. and. You don't think that it's much, but it's actually pretty significant in the winter time. Our power bill does go up quite a bit. So that's one thing that I'm trying to weigh. Like, do I want to just get a good workout in or do I want to just be able to have water easily accessible? Um, yeah. So come along with me and we will be lifting buckets and filling water troughs today.
standing and waiting for waters to fill. That's the other thing that is super annoying about this is it takes a while. It's not only like taking them out there and dumping them in the water trough, it's also waiting for them to fill and it doesn't fill very fast. Super glad mom came to help. <laughs> Make it a lot easier. <laughs> Dividing and conquering on the homestead is where it's at. Oh, show. Sure. So some tidbit of advice for you after watching this painstaking <laughs> endeavor <laughs> is if you are like starting from the ground up, if you have property and you're going to be building, our advice would be add spigots or have like your animals around pre-existing spigots because this is like our biggest freaking headache every year. And water, it seems so simple, but <laughs> it's water's crucial. so crucial. It's vital. And so, um, the other thing, too, though, they do have very expensive heated hoses that are, you know, $300. But if your spigots are far away like ours are, you know, I mean, it'd probably be 600 closer. bucks, yeah. you know, for two, okay, hopefully that that reaches but we did it one not. year with just a portion <laughs> of ours though and it broke within a year and maybe it was just the brand that we got I don't know but yeah. to me that wasn't a great investment <laughs> it wasn't no. worth it so spigots are are vital so just make sure you do that so that you're not in the predicament that we are <laughs> learn from our mistake but a little <laughs> hard work never hurts anybody <laughs> it's a good workout this this is our gym what doesn't so. kill you makes you stronger. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see you next time, guys. Bye.